welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo Happy Hour. Mike, what's going on? Derek, we are back at Addie's, naturally. Mm-hmm. It's our second home. Yeah, since we live here. Uh, So shout out, Eddie. Thank you again for letting us interview another special guest for our podcast. Um, If you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We do feature a different small business every week, and then we have our weekly episodes on top of it. First, we'll do introductions, and then we'll dive right into your background and how we can help further promote you and what you do for the community and friends. Sounds good. Perfect. So you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Megan. Um, I do photography, web design, and a little bit of graphic design. Perfect. It always fascinates me whenever I talk to somebody that's significantly more creative than I am because I'm not very creative whatsoever. So going all the way back, what did you go to school for? Where did you go to school? Did you always want to get into this type of stuff? So originally I went to Villa Maria for like maybe a semester, and I was like back and forth. I started with graphic design. And then I switched to psychology and was like, oh, maybe we should get into human services because everyone said that, oh, I don't know about graphic design, mm-hmm. like making money. So naturally the next step would be human services because you know that one, you make a ton of money right, too. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I uh, switched that and then I was just so back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take it, take a beat. Mm-hmm. And then um, I tried, gave human services for a try and it was nice, but I kept going back to photography. And so I, I was like, oh. Maybe I should just stick with this, considering I keep coming full circle back yeah. to it. So. When you were doing the human services stuff, did you still do photography as a hobby? Like, when did the photo- did. photography hobby start? Oh, it started when I was, like, little, little, and I kind of, like, would go back and forth, back and forth, and then I um, kind of moved more into, like, graphics and gave her a little bit other stuff would try and just stuck with it. But What was your first camera? Oh, I don't know, probably, like, a one of those little uh, snap picks thing or <laughs> the disposables oh yeah it's yeah so I mean, underwater disposables i had is great yeah it's so funny <laughs> watching the progression of cameras right like you we, we all like had to develop our own film it's yeah. weird we were oh, yeah. thinking that we were wizards back in the day it, we were disasters is what we all were <laughs> um so what time frame year wise was, was college um, it was uh, 2015. 2015 2015 gotcha and then when did the wedding aspect come about was it the your friends knew that you were into photography they saw your work and they're like would you want to do my wedding yeah so actually i had one friend and it's funny i like was looking more into wedding but i kind of do a little bit of everything too so i did um a friend of mine's wedding and um my cousins recently and stuff like that but i do get a lot of like couple engagement Mm -hmm. branding i'm still kind of trying to find that like niche that i really want to dive into so but it's been nice i like to try a lot of different things is there anything right now that's kind of slowly pulling away in regards to what you like to Um, capture for lack of better terms i really do like the branding i know you guys had khadijah on here i do a lot of her photography Mm -hmm. and we actually were just featured on a billboard down i saw that that was was awesome pretty cool um that kind of like definitely was like a little bit of a boost of maybe this is kind of fun so yeah we do that and then um i did a few other local businesses and then i kind of like dove into web design with that so i was kind of like maybe i can do like a package with this Mm -hmm. who knows but yeah so are weddings that stressful to photograph (sighs) Because I feel like they are, but you also take like a quadrillion pictures. So there's really more room for error in wedding photography, I guess, because you have more chances to get it right. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. It's it's so stressful. It's like an eight hour day of just like I'm like a ball of stress and I like (laughs) run around like a maniac and I like don't eat or drink and I like kill myself every time. So, um, but it's fun. I mean, like the. Big stuff. The ceremony is like really just kind of like the, and it's over in like what 10, 15 right, minutes, yeah. and then after that you just gotta like kind of have get complete the checklist, mm-hmm. make sure you get it with like grandma and like everyone, you know, all the family members. But it's like hard too if you like if they don't have like someone there to kind of like direct you around because you don't want to bug the bride mm-hmm. the whole time. But you're kind of like, I don't know who anyone is sure. unless you give me a whole like picture, <laughs> like a yearbook of everyone. Basically, that's basically. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, wedding, weddings are, fun. I mean, those are like the bigger things that like would be great to get into, but I'm, like I said, I like run around killing myself. Yeah. Did you have somebody hours. to help that the first wedding you did? Because I feel like most wedding photographers have like two people that take pictures too. So it's actually funny. I like bring my boyfriend along and I'm oh, like, okay. listen, you're just going to 
come along with me. You're going to carry my stuff you <laughs> and go. you're going to just like direct me so I don't like lose myself. But I have um, I have second shot for I don't, uh, David Ray. He's another local photographer. Okay. And I know um, I did my cousin's wedding and I asked him to like go to like the groom's house. Mm. And like I kind of did the same thing for him where he was with the bride and I'm with the groom. Sure. So it's nice. Like sometimes I'll like. I have like that, like we'll call other photographers and like kind of split that way. Um, if I, uh, if people do reach out to me for weddings, I'll kind of be like, okay, listen, like how, how many people are you talking? Right. I try to keep it below a hundred for now, unless if they want more then I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to like up my price is going to sure. like hire somebody else. But as long as I know how big they're going to be, then I'll kind of like figure it out that way. Sure. So you went to college for graphic design and then you switched to human services and then you kind of juggled that around for a little bit. Mm -hmm. When was the time that you decided this is not going to be a hobby for me anymore and I'm going to take that next step to be a, a business? So it was like two, about two years ago, like a okay. two years. And I, um, done like different like odds and ends jobs and like work this, but I feel like this year is like, I'm kind of like really mm -hmm. deep diving into it. So, which has been nice cause it's kind of like that organic growth through it. Sure. Did you go through like a whole business process to legitimize or is this mm -hmm. more, okay. How is that process? It's good. I mean, it's yeah. taxes and it's all that such a pain. Stuff, so. we, we did that too. And it's just like so many unnecessary steps that you wouldn't think need to be done. Right. But like posting about it in two different newspapers. It's like, who reads newspapers anymore? This is weird. I know. It's so silly. You would think they would just post on like their website or something. Like, yeah. save the paper, guys. Just and then the actual government <laughs> process where you have to scan it and fax it and send it to them. It's like, dude, what are you talking They're about? They're going to put in their little reels thing for yeah. two generations to look at. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a ridiculous amount of paperwork. It is. For it's almost no return. Right. It's like, yeah. what? okay, so I'm just going to pay you a couple hundred bucks to process paper work like it's so obnoxious right yeah no but it's, it's fine it's and you feel like you're gonna like forget something or leave something right. out and, yeah. and it's not easy no. so what was your first gig as a professional photographer um, i'm trying to think oh uh, probably i think a senior portrait okay so i for a school um it's just like for like one person but yeah like they're senior portraits oh, okay. they kind of do them okay. um, like they have like the school picture there with like the you know like the blue mm -hmm. background that whatever. weird gray background yeah. that they just pull down and they like smile basically <laughs> yeah and then i'll do um senior porches at like chestnut ridge or like any of those places which i actually really love doing like the senior porches the kids are so much fun and they're like the girls get like all they go to the salon in the morning they get their hair done and they're like so excited and they're like glamour shots so <laughs> Do you tend to choose the location or do you let them choose it? I give them ideas, okay. but if they like have a specific spot, I'll go really anywhere. But nobody's ever really gone outside of um, like Knox Farm sure. or Buffalo or nothing crazy. Do you have a radius? Uh, it depends. I, I'll go out to Rochester. I mean... I've gone to Ohio before. Oh, wow. So, oh, goodness. Really? Yeah. I. Uh, it was actually an old neighbors of ours that had a vow renewal at their friend's place in Ohio. So I drove all the way out there, which it was a good time. I mean, I knew a lot of people there, so it kind of made sense. Sure. But um, yeah, I mean, it just depends. And I'll kind of like adjust pricing accordingly and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what does your typical travel consist of? Like when you pack up your equipment to go, what do you bring with you? Uh, I bring my bag with my camera, my two lenses, and then I have, depending on like what kind of shoot it is, I'll have like a bag of like props and okay. stuff like that. Like I went to a newborn shoot uh, two days ago, and it was like out in like Marilla, and I brought like I don't know like little baby stuff that you could set them on. You know what I mean? Like little blocks with A's on them or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a little letter board <laughs> and whatever. But usually, like a lot of people, they'll like have their own stuff already because they have like such okay. an idea in their head. Now, do you tell them to prep for it, or what is your communication with them when you go? Um, Usually it like depends on the person. You can kind of get like a feel of like if they're going to be like those like mad planners where they have exactly what they want or if they're kind of like they'll usually like come right out and be like, hey, I don't know. Do you have this? Do mm -hmm. you have that? And I'll kind of like work with them through it. Sure. So. What is your consultation process? Is it you meet somewhere like do you have a studio or is it all just kind of like via emails or direct messaging? Uh, 
emails, messaging. Okay. I don't have a studio yet. Hopefully soon. Oh, but nice. um, yeah, I just kind of like talk to them back and forth, and or if they want to give me a call. Usually, a lot of people just like to message nowadays, mm-hmm. though. So your cameras, That's wild. You have. We were talking a little bit before. You have mm-hmm. the Sony A six thousand. What type of lenses do you have? I have the uh, two th- the two hundred millimeter, okay. and then the I think a six hundred millimeter. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually, it's crazy how much lenses do, and like it there's is. so many intricate intricacies with lenses. We're not even going to dive into them, mm-hmm. but it's just it's wild being a photographer and having to choose what type of lens you want. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, and like they're cra- they're more expensive than the actual camera half the time. Isn't it wild? Yeah. They're so expensive. Yeah. Um. So it's like one of those things you have to like really pick carefully <laughs> when you know exactly what you want. Yeah, I was just telling Mike earlier. I was scrolling through this site called Slick Deals. Mm-hmm. My friend Joe actually showed it to me, and it is a site where you can put alerts onto certain type of. Um, oh, cool. like products that you are interested mm-hmm. in and I put an alert for lenses because I want to keep upgrading our lenses too and I found this one that came right across my feed and it was $450 off Oh wow! and I'm like I'm gonna yeah, do it right now to. but it was the wrong manufacturer I'm like, oh. Oh, bitch. because I was looking at this G Master one and it's like $2,000 it's crazy it's wild mm-hmm. and then you get into the fixed or the um, zoom lenses versus what are the other ones called you don't know. Zoom lenses. Correct. No, I'm, first of all, I'm not a photographer. And secondly, yeah, I'm just there's just so many different types of lenses. It's very, very overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of that is, is due to their capabilities with light, from what I understand. Yeah. Correct? Okay. So then do you bring additional lighting to these kind of shoots, or do you kind of look at whether, like, the planning process from your end, what are you kind of looking at when you go to these events per se so i will uh i usually book them for the afternoon because it's like the best lighting i try to stay away from like midday Hmm. um if i do morning early early morning like nine o'clock it also depends on like if it's like winter fall whatever but um usually after six o'clock in the summer is like the best time i get like the best lighting out Mm -hmm. of that um weddings i have like one of those like you know like the big disc like the with like the shiny side to like the the reflectors oh yeah yep yeah i have like one of those um i need to get like a light box like a flash box for mm-hmm. my camera um but i haven't like run into like any huge issues yet without having that and um yeah i like depending most of the time though it's like pretty flexible if it's an indoor one though i do have lights like similar to yours like they're like the little squares yeah with little soft boxes and stuff on them. yeah yeah and i can like switch the color and all that so it's kind of fun to play around with them but um yeah i've been so into cameras lately i'm getting (laughs) juiced it's so it's so weird because like i don't want to get excited about cameras but i am it's, it's just it's fascinating fun. like once you start messing with the iso and the mm-hmm. aperture and everything like that like what is when you go and you shoot do you have a specific aperture that you try to aim for or is it just whatever fits with the light it's kind of just whatever yeah. fits and whatever works you don't try to get that background bokeh or anything like that <laughs> depends like i'll kind of play with it and stuff <laughs> yeah. like back and forth because it's cool to have like different shots like even if you're like taking like the same shot to kind of play with that and have like one after another these lights going down yeah, they just went out. I think they're all motion censored, and we haven't necessarily moved too much. Well, let's get more lights in here, bro. I know. I can no, walk around. No, Give me fine. three We're seconds. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty sweet. I I just I'm so fascinated with cameras lately. So, what you talked about that you kind of are interested in a certain, or you wouldn't be against getting into a certain type of mm-hmm. photography. What would be your ideal? Um. So as of now, I really love like any type of like portrait. So whether it be like a branding for like businesses mm-hmm. or um, like, like the senior portraits. And then I also, I do like couple photography, okay. but family's fun. Weddings are f- okay. Yeah. But I feel like that's like kind of like my tier. I like how you eased up on the fun word there. <laughs> the, cause there's so much to the consultation <laughs> process for a wedding. It's mm-hmm. disgusting. Um, but realistically i mean you mentioned business and branding and couples so i mean we're kind of ideal <laughs> candidates yeah, really. Perfect, yeah. not saying anything you know now <laughs> but the couple's maybe. part right you're, you're correct really yeah. yeah specifically so, <laughs> so you did a branding thing recently with our friend over at honey sweet jam yeah you want to talk about that process and how you've worked with her to help build her brand yeah so actually we uh so I met her when we I worked in human services and okay. we did the same um, behavioral health and then um, she's, in college. Uh, no, this was uh, like professionally. Uh, no, no, we worked at the same People Inc. 
Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So we worked together, and that's how we met. And actually, I was there when she like brought in the jams for everyone. But um, <laughs> they're so delicious. They're yeah. so good. I, I real side note, I felt really called out this morning. I was listening to her podcast, and she's like, "Oh yeah, the apple pie jams." She goes, "The kids love it." As I'm like putting apple pie jam <laughs> on my toast, and I was like, oh, oh. "Everybody loves it." <laughs> Don't worry, so I was smearing it all over English muffins <laughs> earlier. So so good. Yeah. I'm like you better make it again this year. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we like became friends outside of like our two businesses and she started hers and I kind of like was getting into mine so we kind of like worked together a lot with doing all like the tax form mm-hmm. lap jazz whatever <laughs> the fun stuff oh yeah yeah but um yeah so for her branding though what we'll do is like we'll set up like different jams in her house and stuff like that and I'll bring my camera over and the picture that we took for the billboard we did it like on she took it at her house and mm-hmm. stuff like that and it's fun um she'll kind of tell me what she wants and like what she's like looking for we've like worked together and like building like i, I hate saying filters because it sounds like it's like an easy way out but right. it's like really i mean it helps keep like your like branding story mm-hmm. and check Consistent, on like your, yeah. yeah so um we kind of like worked with that and like getting those together and kind of going back and forth and bouncing ideas off each other and I'd go to her farmers markets and like take pictures and stuff like that so so what was that billboard process like I would have loved to ask her this question but obviously that happened after our yeah. interview so from your perspective how was that billboard process what like started that and then how did you how did your picture get on there so I mean for her side it was probably a lot more complex sure. but like what she needed from me was actually surprisingly easy um, so she worked with like the Women's Business Center and they wanted to, I guess every month they're going to feature a new business that oh, they're cool. doing. So, um, what happened? So she asked me cause she like had a few other pictures that we took and she's like, oh, like I, maybe I, I was like, well, if it's going to go on the billboard, when we like do like a new one, like mm-hmm. a fresh one. So, uh, <laughs> she's probably like, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sounds well, right. Just do a new one. <laughs> so we, uh, got together and we took a whole bunch we took some like serious ones and some and i was like do a, do a fun one because it's like her i think at least she's eating the jam yeah i was like do a fun one if it's gonna go on a billboard you can't just look like you're just like smiling right there, like, yeah like it's a senior portrait a senior portrait <laughs> <laughs> exactly so um yeah so once i took that whatever i went home i ed- did like just like light editing because i feel like sometimes it was just turning like, just kind of crisp with the mm-hmm. colors and everything and all i did was uh send it as like a png to her and i was really surprised i didn't need like more on my end from it but it worked out well so what is your editing process like what software do you use I no use here we go here we go <laughs> you use lightroom okay yeah is that better than photoshop or just different it's what i it's all i need really for okay. the most part i can like bounce it back and forth into photoshop um, but for the most part, I do like pretty light editing and I just play with like, um, shading and stuff like that. So it does everything that I need, but like, if I'm like removing stuff, I can put it mm-hmm. into Photoshop. Do you see yourself doing that a lot where you have to r- manipulate the photo or is it more of like a filter bringing out the correct colors in Lightroom type situation? More like just bringing out the color. I mean, there's some where I always kick myself because I'm like, oh, like there'll be like a garbage. I'm like, oh, just leave it. I can edit that out. And then I've got like 50 photos with this garbage <laughs> can in it. I'm like cutting it out. And I'm like, this is such a pain. Right. But I'm like, I did this to myself. Every time too, I'm like, at, it'd be so easy just to go pick up the garbage can and move, and it, move yeah. it and here i am like no i can do it it's fine we'll do that all the time too like when we first started before we got these cameras we started out with video cameras mm-hmm. and they were terrible quality <laughs> i watched a video today of our previous upload and it was i just wanted to throw up but we sometimes i didn't take the time to like white balance everything mm-hmm. and with these cameras you can get away with it like you can yeah. do so much more editing that looks better when you mm-hmm. have 4k cameras but when you have a 1080 video camera you can't do anything no so all like some videos you and i are like orange and it's like <laughs> what's going on here so it's crazy do you so when you do white balance i've always wondered this and i wonder if you know the question there's a white card and a gray card does it matter which one you use uh, like one side is white and one side is gray and i don't know if there's really a need. what is that on the, like a white card what, like white a card. white balance oh. card for white balance yeah I've never used one. To oh, be really? Honest. Yeah. No, I've never. She's just got it down on lock, man. Yeah. <laughs> she just shows up. So. She's like, I already know what to do. I have to. I definitely like within this next year. It's like my goal to like deep dive more into like the technical yeah. 
side of everything but there's so much you know there's did you go through much. like all the photo classes and things in high school and college i did one in high school college wasn't there long enough <laughs> <laughs> Good call. and I, a lot of it's just like kind of watching like youtube videos and stuff like that mm-hmm. that self-education learn. yeah and like yeah. meeting new people and we kind of like learn that way and just like honestly a lot of it's trial and error mm-hmm. so so when we were talking again to honey sweet jam she was kind of talking about her wanting to continue the jams as more of a hobby Mm -hmm. and focus on her degree and her career right Mm -hmm. now. Is that a similar path with you or would you like to have this photography be more of a staple? I would like to go full time with this. With photography, yeah. yeah. Um, That and like, that's kind of why I threw in like web design Mm -hmm. with it because I'm like, you know, it's like one of those things that like there's a so many photographers in Buffalo. Absolutely. I like typed in Buffalo photographer because I like signed up for my little Google page and everything. <laughs> and I'm like looking for my name and I'm just scrolling and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, no, I uh, wanted to do like, I figured like web design would be a nice like kind of complimentary tool. And I really like it. I almost like feel like I'm like cheating. I'm almost like going more towards that a little bit. Well, but I mean, your start was graphic design. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's great too because I actually I've been looking to get more into um, like event websites and doing like uh, you know like a weddings they'll have have you heard of like a wedding yeah. website yep. yeah so like something more like that where people like can save on there's so many invites that go you know you're absolutely planning a wedding now oh, God, um, yeah. <laughs> and like you get like three or four invites at a time. And it's crazy. And I'm like, well, and then you have to send, everyone has to send them back because mm-hmm. they have the RSV card. So and nobody like, does. Why don't they have a website? I know, like, there's, like, the not and stuff like that that are, like, free, but it's, like, you have to do it all yourself. Sure. And I'm like, I don't know, like, how many, like, maybe there's some brides that, like, want a little bit more complex to that and stuff like that. So they can, like, RSVP right on the website mm-hmm. and they have all the info on everybody, the venue, um, like, parking and the where to stay if you're out of town, right. all that jazz. Wedding websites are ideal. Mm-hmm. It's just so hard to get that point across that every single person's question can be answered on the website that's on the save the date and everyone overlooks it. Yeah. Everyone. That's exactly what I'm like. We had 170 people initially pre-COVID that were going to be invited. Obviously that got drastically cut because of the pandemic, but still we had like 92 people total at the wedding and then it was the same question for like all 90 people. And they're like, oh, we can just ask. I'm like, dude, like I'm still trying to plan the wedding. Like we had all this other <laughs> stuff going on. Plus there's a honeymoon. Like it was just so frustrating when literally it's like, look at the save the date. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. or I lost it. It's like, well, exactly. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like I, you're not 12, like you're you're an adult. Like yeah. I just look at the website and everything is on there, especially if it's out of town. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know how to like make that more um, accessible for people. Right. Like, if you get to save the date, look for that link, I guess, is like the only way you can yeah, kind of get that QR point out. QR codes there. now, yeah. Yeah. I know. Because, like, even if you just send like one out and it's got everything on there, mm-hmm. but um, maybe I'll have to include uh, frequently asked questions on there you my go. website. There you go, do that. <laughs> well, you can also do like a, a, a different opportunity where you're marketing yourself as building websites for businesses because Mm -hmm. you could help build the website but then you can also go and take like some amazing pictures of the the Mm -hmm. business to continue to put on their website to just to keep promoting them so you can kind of do like a two birds one stone thing because if people are trying to get a website right now like businesses then they have to hire a different photographer to come take pictures mm-hmm. of it because they're not going to do it with their smartphone. That wouldn't be – smartphone cameras are really good nowadays. But still, like, people would still want to hire a photographer, and you mm-hmm. can just be both of that. Yeah, so I actually did that for a – Oh, cool. um, look at that, bud. <laughs> a yoga, and she does, um, like, holistic – she's a massage therapist, like an Ayurveda. It's some Like holistic, holistic medicine food. stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, food. It's like a food, sure. holistic medicine kind of that group. And – um yoga massage therapist ayurveda so i did that for her and then i'm working on a another business and I'm trying to think i did a salon hmm. so yeah it i really enjoyed that part where it brings like the branding and the web design Absolutely. together i feel like you're more of a graphic designer and you like love taking pictures because <laughs> all you've been talking about is like branding and like making websites and everything that's where your passion is yeah yeah i feel like the other stuff is like kind of helping me get there absolutely but it's like 
it's like the necessary stuff to get to the fun stuff so sure i love it Mm -hmm. so you essentially sit there and formulate how to build a website no so no i do not code (laughs) okay um i uh usually use like squarespace or like a platform like that because it's great because then they don't have to call me every time they need Mm -hmm. something switch everyone's like oh well megan then they can pay you every time but i'm like such a, like a pain for right. them to like want to put like a newsletter up and it's a pain for me too because i'm like i got other stuff going on if i don't get it to fit to them like immediately and they're like missing debt whatever i'm like i'd rather them just be able to go and i show them exactly how to use it then and if they want to update the big stuff then they can call me and then we can like set up pricing that way so like changing photos and things like that yeah like some of it they can do but a lot of it mm-hmm. it's on you okay yeah so like if they want to add a whole new page i can do that or if they want to update a page completely or if they want to do like a whole like rebrand whatever but they can add like i like get their like newsletter set up and all that for them hmm. do you have a website yourself i do for you what yep. is it it's at mmmckee.com or mmmckeephotography.com oh my god is that all through Squarespace too? Yeah. Yeah. You built that yourself. I did. That's, I updated way too hard. <laughs> yeah, we we've talked about it. We don't have a website yet, but we've talked about it. And it's just it's just something that we haven't pulled the trigger on. Well if you need one, let me know. We'll do. We'll do. Yeah, I think a lot of that decision is based on just like the logistics of when it actually makes sense. Right. Mm-hmm. But once it does, then at least we'll have a foot in the door. Do and you we're have, not totally clueless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have like a contact us thing on your website where oh, yeah. people can, is that where people try to reach out to you at? Or yeah. do you facilitate it more through Instagram? Um, so it's kind of like a half and half with more so with like Facebook. Oh, I get okay. a lot of Facebook. And um, lately though, I've been getting a lot through the website, which is gl- great because like I built my website and then it was like six months. Everyone just kept reaching out to me on Facebook and I was so proud of my little contact me section. I'm like, just. Just go through my website, it. man. Come <laughs> right. on. But um, yeah, no, a lot of people have been contacting me through that. And it's great because it goes right to my email and I get an email that says like Squarespace submission hmm. and then like their info and it has like their name, their email, all their info. And then I tell them to like write a little like, what do you want about you? What are you looking mm-hmm. for? Blah, blah, blah. And then I can email them directly through that. I don't have to like type their um, email in or anything like that. It just like links it. So it's great. Is there a type of business or a type of photography that you haven't done yet that you would really love to get into i love editorial photography like the fashion photography i mean like we've done like friends and i've like done like little silly shoots and stuff like that but yeah i would love to get into like clothing like clothing photography Mm -hmm. and stuff like that that's all like staging stuff too right like staging for the perfect picture yeah stuff which like i just don't have the space in my apartment to do that i do have like a backdrop stand and all that and so um so yeah, how do you make your apartment work with being a photographer? You you talk about the backdrops and everything, but what else do you have? Yeah, so I my neighbors love me downstairs because I do a lot of newborns <laughs> and oh, okay. baby photography in my apartment. Oh so goodness, they're constantly hearing babies crying on Sundays because that's like the only day that like <laughs> works usually. It just works out that way. But I've done like cake smashes and stuff like in my apartment. Oh cool. Had to get a new rug after <laughs> one of them, but I uh, like I I love the paper backdrops. If you guys ever have to get backdrops do the paper oh, okay. ones they're great because as opposed to mm, they have um muslin and like different like fabrics oh, okay. but they always yeah, yeah. wrinkle i haven't found one that like just will not wrinkle Does so the paper rip i i thought so it's really thick though oh, okay um i mean i've had a you could think it was a wall and go Ch-. and i was like <laughs> It's fine. I'll just pull it out even more. I mean, they don't last forever, but they're like cheap enough where they're like thirty bucks oh, for okay. a roll That's of them. Bad. And I can pull them out, and they can like slobber, snot, whatever, all over it. And I just cut it right off and pull oh, the next cool. one out. But it's perfectly smooth in the back. It's great. Um, so I didn't even that, know that existed. Yeah. So you use that at your apartment? At my apartment. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's fine. I'll be right it's back. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. These cameras are good enough. Okay. Um, but yeah. So is the goal? You said the goal is to get a studio. Eventually, yeah. It's like one of those things that where it's like if I get a house first, I'd love to like turn the garage maybe into like a go. studio. Um, I had a neighbor who had a studio in her house. And it was really nice actually, but it like consumed most of she had like two living rooms that like consume most of her living room but um yeah i figured like either a garage space or like just a small i don't need anything big Mm -hmm. just a small little something with like a lot of windows maybe yeah because natural lighting yeah natural light is supreme you can have lights all day long but natural light is just what you what you strive for exactly yeah and like when i do actually when i do photos in my apartment though i try for midday 
because then the right. light comes in and i'm lucky that i have like a whole ton of windows in my front the back of my house is like literally nothing so they definitely splurge for the front of the apartment the windows but um yeah it's it's fun i really like it and it's nice because i have all my stuff there. i don't have to carry it mm. everywhere and i have like the sinks and all that to do that well we get nervous just carrying these cameras around right it's not it's not cheap we talked about that already Mm-mm. Nope. When they first showed up, we were terrified. I'm still terrified. Yeah, I didn't even want to hold it. I was like, I don't, what do you want me to do with this? I had a smudge on the lens before we came here today. I'm like, what do I do? I don't want to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's exhausting, honestly, just because equipment is so fragile, but it's not at the same time. And you're like, I don't even know what this thing's capable of, but I'm not going to risk anything. You're like, right. it's misting outside. I have to <laughs> fully encase this thing in something waterproof. Have you ever damaged any photos that you've taken on SD cards? Because we did that a few times. Damaged the photos? <laughs> Um, yeah, like where they just weren't recoverable. Yeah, you corrupted oh. the data. No, not going to watch. Oh, oh yeah, like totally. Kind of yeah, me neither. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded. So we have um, continuous power going to these things. Okay. Uh, because we sometimes record like an hour and a half long interview. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to make sure that camera wasn't going to just shut off yeah. out of nowhere. So one time I didn't press stop. I just took the battery out and I corrupted the whole file. So I had to go buy a, a application online. Oh, I heard about those. Yeah, that yeah. fixes the video file. And it came out like all robotic. Like Mike and I are doing the robot, but it just, <laughs> it ended up working. Oh my God. But it, it was, was stressful. Very was stressful. Because I didn't want to like keep texting you about it. Yeah. I was like, oh. Because you know I was fuming at home. Yeah, I was like, he'll just be a wizard. And then he'll text me. He was like, it, it was a setting. <laughs> or like something ridiculous. And then I didn't hear anything for like 14 hours. Right. And I was like, hey. <laughs> And he's like, it's fine. Everything's fine. And I was like, okay, it's not. It was it was pretty scary. I didn't tell you it happened again. I just didn't even tell you that time. No, I, I don't want to get you all worked up. You're lying. But no, I'm serious. It was Tom's interview. It happened again. So anyway, but SD cards are a whole nother situation. <laughs> they because are. they're difficult. They have so many options for SD cards. They don't need these options. Right. Now, it actually works out really well. So my boyfriend's going to school to get his PhD in political science, but he works at Best Buy currently. Oh, while nice. he's, so I'm yeah. always just calling him like, hey, hey, can you can you pick me up some SD cards <laughs> while you're there? And he's like, don't you have like a thousand? He's like, don't you know how to take the pictures off? Put them on the, but I'm like, yeah, but I like them to keep them on there just in case something happens to the computer. And he's like, okay. And he always gets to be like the best one there. He has his like friends that work in the camera department and he'll always pick up the best. Do you know which one you have? Um... Which one I have like an right extreme now, 516 like, or something like that yeah, yeah it's just something, something enormously like 10, big thousand photos i just used it up actually um like the other day but yeah i uh, always i'll if for weddings i'll usually put a new mm. one in oh, just yeah. to have that it's also easier to organize it you're not like scrolling i mean not that you really have to scroll too much but yeah well it's we fill ours up like all the time and it's funny that mm-hmm. you brought it up that you don't want to delete them because i ha- i had such a hard time deleting videos because mm-hmm. i'm like what if the computer crashes what am exactly. i gonna do i mean there's the cl- they're in the cloud they're in the yeah. computer they're in like five other places but i'm like oh no i might need the sd do i even know what's on <laughs> each sd card no but yeah really i'll figure it out if, if i need it for context that people that don't understand all of the things that we're really discussing um quick example like most weddings take generally anywhere from three to six SD cards Mm -hmm. because you're taking that many photos and each SD card, like ours are how many? Ours are only 128. 128 gigs. We can only fit two videos. And then you have what size SD cards? 516 Um, probably. Probably, yeah. It holds like 10,000 photos. 516 gigs? Yeah. Yeah, which that's... In our generation, that's we're used to like... And how much can an iPod hold? Right. And we're like, oh, what gig you got? And then it was like a competition to see who the rich person was in the group. And you're just like, oh, how'd you get that one? Yours is a brick. And now they hold like a terabyte worth of music and yeah. the, like nothing makes sense. But yeah, that's wild. But I'm glad you guys are just having a blast about <laughs> having anxiety stricken fiascos that occur. This is our life. Yeah. Cause our whole life and job is documented on an SD card. And if one of those fries, we're done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Cause even though too, like they, some like will go like speed wise too. Like mm. I have the one that they'll download to your camera quicker or whatever. Yeah, the 170 megabyte down. per second versus like a 60. And we've ran into that where it didn't match. The yeah. speed didn't match. Yeah, that's different. That, that was frame rates. 
Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> I know what's going on. I know what's up. No, well, the, the 4K cameras need specific type of SD card. Like, I we can't, yeah, we can't put in a regular SD card. I tried that when we were doing our cocktail videos. I put in a regular SD card, and it's like, can't do it. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, I put the cheapest one in one time when I first started, and I was like, oh, this camera's really nice, but these pi- pictures are kind of crap. <laughs> like, what is going on with these pictures? And then I like, went to the store, and I'm like, oh, that's because I have the wrong SD card in. I'm like, thank God I wasn't doing anything crazy. They were just pictures of like my friends and I when I first got the camera to test it out, but yeah. I was like got to figure this out now before it's all trial and error Mm -hmm. in this industry so when you look back on some of the stuff that you've done two years ago or even as a hobby Mm -hmm. do you look back and you're like what was i even thinking back? oh my god yeah i thought i was putting a vignette on this picture what was i thinking this this should be in vogue (laughs) national geographic then i'm like oh okay i shouldn't be doing that but yeah it's funny it's fun to do them like side by side though even like within two years i'm like excited to see like down the line like five years ten years where i'll be so that being said, we talked about your website. What are your Instagram and your social media accounts so people can see your work and get in touch with you to maybe book a session or something like that? Uh, my Instagram's at m.mckee. I think it's underscore photography on Instagram. I think it's the same for Facebook. Can you spell McKee? M-C-K-E-E. Okay. And then people can reach out to you on either those two platforms or your website. Can you say your website again? It's um, mmckeephotography at Com. Okay, perfect. I got the ads in my head. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough transition most times just because it's either all the same or they're all different, mm-hmm. but it's fine. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I, I could talk about lenses and cameras, <laughs> but I know that this guy doesn't want to hear about it, and probably neither do these guys, especially if we get into the specifics of Sigma lenses versus right. Tamron and all stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, but thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. And if you want to get a hold of her, go to her Instagram or her social media or go to her website, fill out the contact us because she worked really hard on it. And if you also want a website, go hit her up as well because she does that basically whatever you want. So thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.